What's going on, YouTube? What's going on, Raider Nation? It is your boy, Byron, man. Coming at y'all with another Forgotten Raiders video today. And today, it's about the once triple threat that we had for our offense back in 2010, mainly in 2010, all the way up into 2013 of Jacoby Ford and what actually happened with Jacoby Ford. It all started at Cardinal Newman High School in West Palm Beach, Florida, where Jacoby Ford would excel in both football and at track. And during his senior year in high school, Jacoby Ford would produce these type of numbers. 22 catches for 550 yards and score 10 touchdowns. Jacoby Ford would also be named Palm Beach County All-Star Game MVP and was a second team All-State player at that time. In 2005, Jacoby Ford would attend an all-male Christian military boarding school called Fork Union Military Academy. While attending the school, Jacoby Ford would have seven kickoff returns for touchdowns. He would have 57 catches for 1,254 yards and would score nine touchdowns. He also ran for 306 yards off of 12 rushing attempts and scored three rushing touchdowns. So you could already see, even in high school, he was a triple threat in both the receiving game, running game, and in the kickoff game. Now at the time, it is reported that Jacoby Ford ran a 4.1240 yard dash at the time. As you can look in this picture, bro look really fast. So you can see even back then, man, this dude had some blazing speed. The head football coach at the time, which was John Schumann, was quoted on saying that the fastest player ever to play at Fork Union. So basically saying that Jacoby Ford was the fastest player he had ever seen at the school. Now, after his high school career was over, Jacoby Ford was a four-star high school prospect coming out and was recruited by six different schools. He was recruited by the University of Clemson, Michigan State, the University of Florida, the University of Virginia, Virginia Tech, and the University of West Virginia. But in December of 2005, Jacoby Ford would commit to the University of Clemson. In his four years at the University of Clemson, Jacoby Ford would have 143 catches for 1,986 yards and 16 touchdowns overall. He would also run the ball 58 times for 494 rushing yards and score two rushing touchdowns. Not only that, but Jacoby Ford was a threat in the return game as well. As I told you guys, this guy was a triple threat in high school, triple threat in college now. He ran back two punts for TDs and had a kickoff return for a touchdown. He also threw a touchdown in his senior year at the University of Clemson. After his college career was over, Jacoby Ford would declare for the draft in 2010. Now at the NFL Combine, Jacoby Ford blew scouts away after running a 4-2-8 40-yard dash, which was four milliseconds away from Chris Johnson's legendary 4.24 40-yard dash time. Jacoby Ford was ranked as the 15th best wide receiver in the NFL draft and was projected to go in the fourth round. And in the 2010 NFL draft in the fourth round, the Oakland Raiders would select Jacoby Ford out of the University of Clemson. Now, as we all know, Al Davis loves speed, so this was an obvious pick for the great late Al Davis. And Jacoby Ford would be turning heads in his rookie season. And yet again, in his rookie year, which was his best year, Jacoby Ford had 25 catches for 470 yards and scored two receiving touchdowns. Not only that, in the running game, Jacoby Ford ran 10 times, but he would rush for 155 yards and would have two rushing touchdowns. And not only that, in the return game, Jacoby Ford took three kickoff returns back for TDs in just his rookie season. So in his rookie season, he had a combined seven total touchdowns, two receiving, two rushing, 
and three in special teams. His best game of his career and his best game that season will come in week nine against the Kansas City Chiefs. Way. Jacoby Ford from the five. Finding room and there he goes! Oh, the Raiders have started the second half in high fashion. 94 yard return. First and ten, Campbell. Bush picks up the driving Halim. Campbell floats it. Ford under. Oh, what a catch at the seven. Campbell said, I can't chase perfection in a way where I expect it every single time. Give my guys an opportunity to make a play, and that's what he does. Yeah, yeah. He's got his receiver full for Oakland. Campbell. That's caught with the Campbell. Ford, what a big time catch at the 22. And 20 for Campbell. Welcoming our new audience. And almost picked off, and it was grabbed by Ford. Wow. What a catch down to the Kansas City 23. Opera ball intercepted. Jacoby Ford takes it away from him. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. What a play. You're talking about making a play for your quarterback. Mm. Right time, right place. It's Jacoby Ford. The play of the game so far. Campbell for Ford. Oh, what a catch! He beats Flowers at the 15. 47 yard gain. It starts with protection. And what we get from Jacoby Ford, he shot out of a cannon. Running by Brandon Flowers, tracking the ball, and look at the catch. Where Jacoby Ford would have six catches for 148 yards and return to kick back for a touchdown. He would also set the franchise record that season with three kickoff returns for touchdowns in a single season with three. Now, after his rookie season, Jacoby Ford was now looked at as basically a weapon on offense. He could do damage receiving the ball, he could do damage in the return game, and he could also run the ball for you at times. So heading into 2011, there was a lot expected of Jacoby Ford. But unfortunately, Jacoby's stats would go down and regress, would miss eight games that season due to nagging injuries. But despite the injuries and missing eight games, which was basically half the season, despite all that, Jacoby Ford would finish the season with 19 catches for 279 yards and only scored one touchdown. And in the running game, he would only run, run the ball four times just for 31 yards. But Jacoby Ford would return one kickoff return for a touchdown in week six against the Cleveland Browns. And him returning that kick would set the franchise records for most kickoff returns for a touchdown by a player in the franchise with four. So just in two years, he set the franchise record for kickoff returns for the franchise. His best game that season would be against the Denver Broncos in week nine, where he would have five catches for 105 yards and would score a touchdown, which would be his only touchdown that season. So now 2010, he was looked at as a weapon and as a triple threat. In 2011, he missed basically half the season, missed eight games due to injury. So hopefully now 2012, things could get better for Jacoby Ford, right? Unfortunately, uh, that would be wrong. Unfortunately for Jacoby Ford in the 2012 season, he would miss the entire season and would be placed on IR after requiring foot surgery, which meant Jacoby Ford would have to miss out on the 2012 NFL season. So now we fast forward to the 2013 season. This is now Jacoby's fourth year. It's his contract year. So if he wants to re-sign with the team, he's going to have to improve this season in 2013. 2010 was looked at as a weapon. 2011, he was injured and missed half the season, missing eight games. 2012, he missed the entire season. So if Jacoby Ford wanted to put himself back on the map with Raider Nation, it would have to be this season. 
Unfortunately, things would not get better for Jacoby Ford as he was pushed down on the depth chart and was the fourth string wide receiver at the time. With wide receivers like Rod Streeter, Denarius Moore, and Andre Holmes in the lineup in 2013, which meant Jacoby Ford would get limited, very limited action. Jacoby Ford would only start one game in the 2013 season, and in that game where he started, he only had two catches for 12 yards. Jacoby Ford would finish that season with just 19 catches for 99 yards. And in the running game, he only ran it five times and only had 15 rushing yards. And it didn't help that also, he did not score any touchdowns on special teams on kickoff returns. Sadly, after the 2013 season was over, the Raiders decided not to re-sign Jacoby Ford, which would make him a free agent. Now, in the 2014 offseason, in April of 2014, Jacoby Ford would sign with the New York Jets. But unfortunately, he would be cut during the preseason, and after being cut, he did not play with any team in the 2014 season. Now, in 2015, January of 2015, the Tennessee Titans decided to give Jacoby Ford another try in the NFL. They would sign him to a one-year deal, but unfortunately, again, Jacoby Ford would be cut during the preseason. And after this cut, Jacoby Ford would unfortunately never play again in the NFL. Now that Jacoby Ford's NFL career was done and over with, Jacoby Ford still had a passion to play the game of football. So in February of 2016, Jacoby Ford would decide to sign with the Edmund Eskimos of the Canadian Football League and would try to play football for the CFL. Unfortunately, he would be cut by the team with final roster cuts in mid-June. But very fortunate enough for Jacoby Ford, the very next month he would be signed by the Montreal, I, I, don't, even, I don't even know how to pronounce that name, but y'all see what the name is. <laughs> he would be signed to their practice squad for the rest of the season. So 2014, Jacoby Ford wasn't playing. 2015, he wasn't playing. And the first team he goes to, he gets cut in the 2016 season. But on the bright side, in the 2016 season, he would be on the practice squad for, once again, cannot pronounce his name, but he would be playing for them on their practice squad. But he would be released once the season had ended, and now in the 2017 season, Jacoby Ford would get one last chance to play in the CFL. And he would sign with the, once again, can't pronounce that name, but we're going to say Rough Riders. He would play with the Rough Riders, Jacoby Ford would not record any stats in the CFL and would not play at all basically in the CFL and would end up getting released after the following year. And that would be the last time Jacoby Ford would play football at all. So in the CFL, he didn't record any stats or any playing time. But in Jacoby Ford's whole career, he ended his career with 57 catches for 800 and 48 yards and three touchdowns. In the run game, he would finish with 19 rushing attempts for 201 yards and scoring two rushing touchdowns. And in the return game, he had 75 returns for 1,874 yards and would take it back to the house four times in his NFL career. I don't know about y'all, man. I really love Jacoby Ford, man. It's sad how his career went out, man, but he was really a cool dude, man. He was a nice weapon, and he was cool with the Raider Nation. He was a fan favorite, man, and I've actually hit him up in the DMs before. Dude's a real down-to-earth guy. He's a cool dude, man, so if Raider Nation, if y'all can do me this one favor, man, this is Jacoby Ford's Instagram right here, and this is his Twitter. So today, man, after you guys are done watching this video, man, just go on to this page and just spread some positive love, man. Either just, you know, comment on one of his posts or send a DM to him or just anything just to show him love, man. Because Jacoby Ford, man, I, I will always love him, man. And the crazy thing about it is my top five greatest Raider games that I've ever witnessed as a fan. So you got it. So from 2006 to all the way to the present. 
Jacoby Ford's game against the Kansas City Chiefs in 2010 is my top five, one of my top five greatest games I've ever seen as a Raider fan. So it's a shame how his career ended, man, but Jacoby Ford, man, the Raider Nation will always love you over here, man. The Raider Nation is a different type of fan base, and we always show each other love, man. And Jacoby Ford, man, I just want to let you know, man, thank you for the four years that you were with us, man. Thank you for the great memories against that Kansas City game in the 2010 season. You were one of my favorite players, man. And Raider Nation, like I said, just, just by the end of the day, man, just go show, you know, Jacoby Ford some love. Go on his Twitter go on his Instagram, whatever recent post he's uh, put on his pages and just, you know, comment down below that, you know, the, the nation still loves you, man. If you want to use the hashtag, use the hashtag, the nation still loves you, man. Jacoby Ford, thank you for the great memories, man. Thank you for everything, man. And Raider Nation, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out and always Raider Nation.